Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to today's session. Nelly Deutsch, I'm going to walk you through the activities on Moodle. So if you could add in the chat box where you're from and where you are very specifically. Are you in the kitchen? Are you in the bedroom? Are you in the uh, patio? Are you on the street in a restaurant? Where are you? And you could be anywhere, but we'd like to know where. In what country? Are you at work? Are you at home? Okay, we've got smileys there and winks, so you're in a good mood. That's good. Feel free to use the chat box as we go. The chat box is our way of staying awake <laughs> and focused so that, uh, but we shouldn't be too focused on the chat box because then we're going to have attentional blinks and we won't see what's in the center, okay, on the whiteboard. So I've got some activities for you. So I hope you have your uh, keyboard ready and your pad or mouse or whatever you're using. By the way, what are you using? If you could add that in the chat, are you using a standalone computer, PC, Windows, or a Mac, an Android, iPad, tablet? What are you using? Okay, we've got a Mac there. That got my attention. Pro. All right. So I've got my little Mac here. I love my little note, little, little thing here, but I'm using my Big Mac because I need to be able to see. So if you're using something small, you can click on the arrow and just look for the arrow in the uh, chat box, just above the chat box. There's a little arrow. Click on that. Then you can put it in the center and you can make it as large as you want it to be. And then you won't have to write... Uh, in a small place. And you can also increase the writing. I'm going to make it 18 so that I can see from a distance there. And I think today I'll be orange. Okay, so uh, hello there. I don't know if you like that orange. I don't think I like it either. So maybe blue. Okay, so decide on the color. You may change the color as we go. All right, so have fun um, in the chat box and see how that feels. Okay, so uh, Moodle MOOC 4 is on its way. Uh, we're um, in our third day. First session, we've got, oh, we've had a session. It depends whether it was night or day for you. Um, with uh, Zaid. Okay, for some of you it was early in the morning, for some of you it was late at night. Uh, here are the presenters. We had a presenter with Zaid, it was really, uh, Exceptional. It took more than an hour, uh, which is great. And the recording is available on YouTube with a bit of a lag. And the reason for that is my computer was overcooking. All right. So a little bit about me for those who don't know me and those who know me and maybe need a little reminder. My face is for peace. You can find this on Facebook because that's what uh, I truly believe that we can have a really wonderful world if we could uh, forget our governments and just uh, make friends and be friendly and learn together. So there's a little bit about me. I am definitely relationship based. I believe in connections. And I think that uh, it's a lot more fun to learn together than to learn on our own, or at least to share the information every once in a while. Have you account on Facebook? Oh, yes, I have an account. I had an account on Facebook before my kids. Uh, yeah, I've had an account for a long time. I only use my Facebook for uh, professional purposes. I took off my husband, my children, and my aunt's uncle, my father, I even took off. Okay, so you can find me under Nelly Deutsch. I've got actually two accounts. And you're welcome to uh, ask for an invitation. And I'll uh, approve. All right. So let's get to the task at hand. Okay, here's the task for today. It's a little warm up. So get your uh, your fingers working there. Okay. Um, it's a review and warm up. Just let me know in the chat box if this is your first day 
in a live online class. There's a lot of energy in a live online class, even more than a face-to-face, -face, but a face-to-face -face can be just as energetic. The only thing is you need to have technology in the classroom in order to be able to share effectively. And I'm talking about sharing links, okay? That's the key. The key is clicking and sharing, which is also clicking. All right, so uh, let's start with number one. Okay, so number one, don't jump. Uh, number one. Oh, how to enroll, Ricardo. Hello, how to enroll. I'm glad you came. Okay, that's it's so important to have problems because if we don't have problems, we're not going to learn anything. Okay, just imagine if you had no challenges in life, you wouldn't be learning, right? So every time I see a problem, I jump and say, wonderful, a chance to learn. So the question is, how do I enroll? Okay, number one. So anybody uh, offer any um, <laughs> any help? Of course, to Ricardo. Uh, how can we help Ricardo? What does Ricardo need? Ricardo, let's ask. Ricardo, do you have uh, the link? Okay, so number one is yes, no. Okay, so let's do it step by step. Ricardo, we will help you, I guarantee. So the question is yes or no. You cannot fail in this warm up. Every answer is correct because it's yours, of course. Okay, so thumbs up, thumbs down. We could do a poll, but I'm not going to do a poll because I like to see thumbs up and down. And uh, if you go into the smiley, you'll have the thumb, all the smileys, of course. Okay, so um, what are you enrolled in? Are you enrolled, if you are enrolled, in M, and I see that some of you have answered, are you enrolled in M4B? Or are you enrolled in M for NB? M for B is Moodle for beginners, and M for NB is Moodle for non beginners. Okay, so Ricardo, we're gonna take care of you. Don't leave. Okay, so great, great. Thank you. Knives is going to number two. All right, don't follow, don't follow. Number two. All right, <laughs> we've got fast fingers. Okay, <laughs> fingers looking good. All right. <laughs> okay, so um, share the link to your course, whether it's uh, for beginners. Remember, it's the process. Okay, so... Uh, no, you don't have to be sorry. Everything you do is correct. That's the thing about online learning. No matter what you do, it's, uh, it's perfect. As long as you are kind, helpful, and specific. So we don't get mixed up. All right, very good. I see we've got Robson, hello, Giselle, Anna, and Bruno. Wow, that's a long. What is that? That doesn't look like uh, the link to the course. Uh-uh. Uh, is it 450? I'm trying to see, but it, it says WizIQ, uh, Bruno. It should say Moodle for Teachers check see now you're going to become aware <laughs> that links mean something okay there is information in the link first of all there is the uh okay the address of the website and then what's called a sub something that the uh, website generates okay it's a page to be specific in the website Okay, there are lots of pages. And these are links. All right. Next question is a little tougher. And I'm sure some of you have gone and are trying to get it. So, um, Ricardo, you now have the link, but you still need to enroll. Okay, so number three. Um, Bruno, you still have the wrong link. Right now, we're talking about... Moodle for beginners or Moodle for non-beginners. We are not talking about WizIQ at all. That was yesterday. Today's today. Okay, so uh, maybe you are enrolled and you don't know. So I suggest you go to the website. Can somebody add the link to Moodle for Teachers? Okay, the link to Moodle for Teachers. No, Ricardo... 
that's that's not the link. That's a WizIQ. Do you see the beginning after the www? It says dot .wizIQ.com. So that's not Moodle. Moodle will say something. Okay, very good, Andrea. Excellent. That's the site. That's the Moodle site. Okay, it's just a domain, but it's Moodle for teachers. And if you click on that, if you haven't enrolled in one of the courses, either beginners or non-beginners, please do that now. Click on it. And then you can do the process later on, but at least you'll have it in your browser. Now I want to give you another little tip. Okay, this may help you if you get kicked out. Okay, just for now, I'm going to give you a link. Okay, let me get the link for you. This link will bring you the WizIQ classroom into your browser. Okay, if you click on the link that I just added, you'll be able to leave this classroom at any time and you'll have the link in your browser on the cloud. Because for many of you, you are in another tab for WizIQ, or not even another tab, another window. So it's kind of confusing. Seems to be some error. Oh, they, yeah, sometimes there are errors. Let me just check to make sure. Yes, there is. Sorry about that. Let me do it again. Okay, let me try that again. Actually, I think, I don't know if you can't do it yourself. Let me try it again. Uh, let me make sure that I've got the right one. It could be a slip. Okay, this is the link that you can share with your friends. And they, okay, this one's correct. Oops, 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 oops. I'm going to have two places. All right, so, here, oops, I think I just, um, there we go. Okay. You can have two uh, WizIQ classes. Try this one. I just checked it and it worked. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, I don't know what the difference is, what I did wrong. Okay, check that one. I'm going to get rid of my um, video because where's I oh it's a, again it's an error hmm. okay I think that after somebody you oh I know why after I use it it becomes an error oh, I'm sorry let's try again okay I'm gonna put it in let's see if it, if there's a problem with it I'll try to get that sorted out I think maybe it's a personal no it can't be personal Try it again, just one last time, and then we'll continue. If it doesn't work. Nope, oh, okay, forget it. Forget it, I'll check and see why it's not working for you. What I wanted you to do, I want you to be in the, um, but it should work. I wanted you to be in the cloud, but all right. So let's continue with the next task. The next, next task is number three, and I see uh, that we've got Jarek here with... A, uh, a link. Let's see if this one brings me to the... Oh, this one's excellent. Perfect. Thank you. So you got it from the same place that I got it. Yeah, you can have a share class link and you can share it with anybody. That's perfect. Thank you. Yes, it's correct. It was perfect. I mean, I tried it. It was perfect for me. Oh, there you go. One, two, Hassan. Excellent. You got it. You got it, Hassan. You got, and Isabel, you got it too. Excellent. Now, let's see. Isabel, you've got a course, but, and Hassan has the course too. What I'm interested in is number three. Number three is an introduction. Okay, let's see if we can get that. Robson. Wow. Look at what it says. Look at the link that Robson just shared. It says, Forum. Do you see the word forum in the link that Robson just added? And that Carly. Very good, Carly. Good to see you. Also added. Notice you you need to look at the, the words in the link and you'll get a lot of information. Okay, so there it says forum. Okay, there's the link.org and then forum. And there's a number. Notice every, and this is very important. Excellent. That's it, Hassan. Every single activity and resource on Moodle has a link, and you can share that link with your students. 
And you can also hyperlink words so that your students can click on a word discussion form and reach the discussion form that you want. Very important for you to realize this, okay? So links are really important. All right, very good. Kirsten, you did it. You got it. Okay. All right, so now we're number four. I want to do this quickly. Um, and you're getting good at it. You're getting much faster. Okay, number four. Number four is share the link to the announcement in your course. Okay, whichever course you happen to be. There's 30. If you look at the link, there's 30. And there's, hmm, Hassan, I'm going to check your, um, I think you got, which forum is that? You've got the support forum. Yeah, I thought it looked different. That's a support for Moodle for non-beginners, uh, Hassan. I would like the link to the discussion, the introduction, okay? The introduction forum, okay? Which is a bit different, Hassan. Okay, it should say, right, it's a different number because support is a higher number. Let's see, 3885. You see the ID? And Percy, if you look at the 30 there, the 30 means that it's the beginner's course. That's the number of the course. Every time I create a course, it has another number. And the numbers are shorter. And the, uh, let's see, Sandy, let's see, you've got, introduce yourself here. That is the introduction form for the Moodle for beginners. So again, uh, but it takes you, let's see, it's perfect. Okay, notice there are also sections. I want you to look at this one. Um, there's also this. And notice the end of this, the one that I just added. Look what it says at the end. It says view, which means it's not an activity. Okay, you view it. And then it says 30 is the beginner's course, and then section. Every tab is actually a section. A tab equals section. And every section has a link. Okay, so everything is clickable and linkable. All right, and the last question is a personal one. How many boxes are ticked in your, <laughs> it sounds kind of funny. How many boxes are ticked in your account? Now, if somebody's new, if somebody hasn't been around and hasn't been on the Moodle, this question would not make sense. <laughs> and it's not because they don't, it's because what boxes is she talking about? What account? My bank account? Do I have a box? Okay, you really have to know what we're talking about to be able to understand the question. So I see we've got numbers there. Four boxes. Robson, you're doing well. Did you get a badge yet? Okay, if you do everything, you should get your badge soon. Task, how to introduce yourself. Oh, you're there, Ricardo. So you're in. Congratulations. All right. So uh, that's good, Ricardo. That was very fast. Raymond, you also have four. Congratulations. You're doing great. And notice there are two numbers here. Uh, let's see. What is number 30? Well, I'll ask you, what is number 29? Okay. What's number 29 at the end of the link that Tom has just added? Let's see if you get, that's a, that's a quiz. That's a, that's a thinking question based on the information that you received. And let's see if there was any um, hearing blinks, okay? No such thing, but uh, hearing. Diet, di I'm dieting the Wiz IQ desktop. Dieting, Lily, for viewing these classes. Oh, deleting. Oh, sorry about that. I saw an I. It doesn't play nice with switching. Oh, I see. Ah, we'll have to, you know what? I'll try to get a, um, 
or maybe somebody can help out, I'll try to get you a tutorial to show you how that's done because I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that, Lily. Thank you. Yeah, there are a lot of things that we have to figure out uh, how to uh, be efficient and quick. Inbox. Enroll. I deleted it to due to the PC. All right. Okay, I'm wondering. I can't wait to get my apps on the Mac, but and then maybe we'll try to work on this together and see uh, what the best way to go is. Oh, emails. That's an excellent question, Isabel. Thank you for asking. Okay. How do you uh, reduce the emails? Very easily. You can stop them completely. And there's a video, a YouTube video that I have that I will share with you. Okay, maybe Tom knows it. It's, um, I'll get it for you. Okay, and maybe if we have time, we'll go through it. All right, so let's, uh, I think we'll have time. Um, okay, so you did really well. Congratulations. Okay, give yourself a star for doing so well on the uh, warm-up. Okay. And let's get started. Okay, I want to see stars. You should be rewarding yourself. Okay, a clap is good too. A link to my course. Very good, David. Thank you. And I understand that, David, you are... Well, where is David? I haven't heard anybody tell me. What is 29? Hmm. What does 29 stand for at the end of... Uh, David, don't tell us. Because you know where you are. What does 29 stand for? In David's link. NB, non-beginners. Very good, Ella. That's right, because 30 was for beginners. Very good. All right, so let's take a look at this. Where will I see this? Okay, this green. What is this green anyways? Okay, what, what do you think this green thing is? I showed it to you last time. Very good, David, for giving yourself a star. You deserve it. Very good. Nice, nice. Excellent. That's right. This is your edit button. It's like you turn on the light, you turn off the light. And trust me, it looks like a, a switch, a light switch. Okay, so you turn it on. Now it's green. Is it on or off? If it's green, is it on or off? On, off, on, off. So it can't be both. Some of you are saying off, some are saying are on. Can we have multiple answers? There's a video, Tom. I'll, I'll send them the video uh, it, it, that I created a while back. That's uh, really, uh, I think, it may be on the site. I'm not sure. Usually I put it there. Is it off or on? Think of other uh, tools that you have and how they operate. When you see on, it means it's off. And when you see off, it means it's on. I know it's confusing. I've all, this always confused me. But in order to turn it on, I need to click on the green. And then it'll turn red. When it's red, it's on. When it's green, it's off. Okay, so play around with it. Uh, and you'll see that when it's red and it's on, you'll see editing. So right now it's off. Where will you see this? Okay, this is still a review. We've talked about this. Let's see if you um, caught it. Not remember, but if you caught it, if you didn't have any blinks. P-A. One more. Yeah, P-A looks good. What does it stand for, Hassan, for those who don't know? That's a good answer, David. It is at the top of the course, but not in this theme, David. In this theme, it's not at the top right. It's in the middle, exactly where it is now. Okay, it's just um, to the right of the tab, somewhere here. Okay, it depends on the theme. So sometimes it's on the right and sometimes it's wherever it's going to be. Very good, Guadalupe. Give yourself a star, Hassan, everybody who said it. Very good. Thomas is ahead of us. 
Yeah, it used to be, David. It's not there anymore. Okay, it's in the middle. It's in the practice area. It's in two places. Moodle practice area, which is the teacher area. And it's also in the Moodle for managers, which is also a practice area for managers. Okay, and that's a lot of fun. That's the best part. Okay, so there it is. That's the answer. MPA and M for M. Okay, next question. Why? Why is it there? Why is it, is it in the MPA and M for M? Why is it there? Hello, Rashid. Good to see you. Why? Now that's a question. And I also mentioned this. So think of all the attentional um, blinks that we have, that our students have. And that's why testing is so wrong. Okay, because there's so many attentional blinks that we're not responsible for. No, the question is why? Yes, that's true. That's true, Hassan. Okay. But. Why is it here in these two courses and only in those two courses? You will not see it in Moodle for beginners and you will not see it in Moodle for non-beginners. But you will see it in the Moodle for, sorry, in the Moodle for managers and in the Moodle practice area to see if one is working actually. So you want to practice. Okay, everybody's saying the right things. Very good, Carly. That's right. That's right. Exactly. Okay, Carly. That's right. Notice what Carly wrote. That's correct. Okay, that's very, very specific. Very good. That's right. And it's important that your students, to realize that your students uh, do not see what you see as a teacher with editing rights. Okay, really important to realize that. Okay, so it will give you a chance to practice adding resources. Only teachers with editing rights can add resources. Now, some schools do not give teachers editing rights because they don't trust them. I know it's horrible. They don't trust them. They think they'll make a mess. Um, there are templates. They don't let teachers touch anything. I've seen schools like this. It's very frustrating. I, I couldn't work in a school like that. But they do it for reasons. Yes, no freedom for the teachers. Um, yes, teachers are like students. They uh, facilitate in some schools, but they do not touch or edit anything. Okay, but that's not uh, what I think teachers should do. I think teachers should have the freedom and I think students should too. By the way, you can give students editing rights in certain activities and, res well, activities, okay, not resources, in activities. You can give students the right to edit certain activities. Okay, so you can make a student in charge of a discussion forum or other things. Okay, but that's, we'll talk about that later. So why activities? Activities are to engage learners. And remember, engaging learners online is very, very possible, especially if you have a lot of students. You can get to each one and engage them, okay, very, very easily. So Moodle allows you by giving you activities that are there for you to use. Uh, Pablo, you asked something about, yes, that's right, John Lay. When we just use code for the errors and they have to correct using the code. I'm not sure I understand. Is that a question or you answered somebody? Um, let me know as we go. All right, um, notice here, in order to add a resource in the 
with teacher rights, only with teacher rights in the Moodle for managers and Moodle practice area, you will see this, but you may not see this. Okay, there are two options. Sometimes, and I think it's important for you to realize this, we're talking about Moodle 2.0 and up. You can separate, oh, let me get color here. You can separate the two. Okay, in other words, you can have one separate at an activity and a separate at a resource. But I decided that I want them together. So I have it in one piece, okay, together like this, at an activity or resource. But in some, if you want, or if your administrator decided that it's going to be separate, then it will be separate, okay? Uh, there's a problem there with a the link. Take a look at the link and see where the problem is. Sometimes you can actually see that uh, that there's a problem with the link. Sometimes we forget a T or a P or um, sometimes you need to put a slash at the end and that makes all the difference. That could be it. Okay, because the link looks um, fine. Yeah, it's invalid. Now I'm wondering, oh, because something was added to it. Tutorials. Uh, let's see if I put a slash. Yep, the slash is correct. You see, this is isn't this interesting? Okay, I, I hope you're learning because these are things that nobody will tell you. Nobody will tell you. You see what I did? I added the slash at the end and now click on it. The same thing that Tom had added, but that slash. By the way, if you want to get a free WizIQ account, um, Okay, if you want to get a free, no, they're not changing links, Tom. No, 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 no. It's a slash. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know why they, yeah, it's, it's a, a system, a way of doing things. Um, if you look at, for example, this um, www.wizIQ.com, you know that as a teacher, you're eligible for free WizIQ premium accounts for a year, and then it has to be renewed every year. Uh, but it could be for life if you read the uh, letter from um, the CEO of WizIQ. Now notice if you write academic, I'll give you the link, academic. If I write it like that, it's not going to work. But if I add it like this, um, academic, and a, there a slash, okay? It'll work. No, you don't have to renew now. You you still have time, Nevis. Okay, notice the first one will not work. The second one will work because you need that. Okay, that's just a little thing. And the second one works. All right. These are little things that, um, yeah. Okay. That's about URLs. Okay, let's take a look at the activities. There are a lot of activities, and I want to stress this. Come with a Moodle. And some of them I added because I like them. Okay, so there are lots of apps. They're called plugins. Plugins, apps, any other name for them? Um, mod, what do they call them? Modules, yes. Uh, Moodle calls them plugins, apps, and modules. Now they're just called plugins. But in the old Moodles, if you're familiar with the old ones, they used to call them modules. Now everything is apps, of course. So notice here how many activities there are. Okay, notice that I added some new ones. And let me show you what the basic ones are. And then I'm going to show you the ones that I added in green. Okay, so let me find a nice green. Okay, so I added these, uh, these, I added these, okay, in green. Now, these are amazing, and we'll talk about them as you go, so it's really exciting. Uh, this is starting uh, next week on June 7th. It'll open up, 
after you finish through week one, and you'll have a chance to try these out. Another one that I added is the certificate. I love certificates. Uh, so I added the certificate. It doesn't come with a Moodle. I also added checklist. It doesn't come with a Moodle. And, and I added hot potato. Anybody familiar with hot potato? Isabel, you won't see this. Oh, you saw Poodle? Yes. Isn't Oh, by the way, Jason is going to be speaking. Justin, sorry. Justin Hunt was an English teacher. Well, he was an English teacher. He's from New Zealand, but he's also a software developer. And he developed uh, Poodle, which is amazing. You know, I get excited because imagine he was an English teacher for, I don't know how many years, over, I think, 20 years or something. And now he's He's devoting all his time to making, that's right, creating games. And he's going to be presenting at uh, the Moot. Okay, so that's a Poodle. And um, Hot Potato. Hot Potato was developed. It's also open source. It was developed in Canada. Um, and it's uh, a way to create exercises. Practice ex. That's right, Pablo. How did you? It's oh, Pablo. I didn't notice which Pablo we had here. Hello. <laughs> so we've got two Pablos. Yes, that's right, Pablo. Good to see you here. Uh, that's right. That's right. The University of Victoria. I'm really excited because this was a long time ago, and I was there at the beginning, and it's been such a long time. Um, that's right. Okay, so uh, that's um, hot potato. So I added hot potato too. Okay, it doesn't come with a Moodle. Uh, what else did I add? Ah, I added, oh, I better get another color here. So I'm going to add black. Okay, I also added, okay, there it is. I added sludle because of the uh, of uh, Second Life. Sludle is Second Life and Moodle. Anybody uh, know how to use it? <laughs> because uh, I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, neither do I. I don't know if it's going to work. I It did work for me in the old Moodles, but in this one, in the new versions, and I'm talking about 1.9, uh, it used to work, but I'm not sure about it. Oh, you've never been able, Pablo, to use SCORM? All right, we all have our little things. We can do one thing, we can't do something else. So somebody else will help us. Okay, so it's okay. Um, what else did I add? I added WizIQ. Now, somebody said, what's the connection of WizIQ to Moodle? You know, why are we using WizIQ? Well, WizIQ is in Moodle. WizIQ is actually an activity. Now, get this, okay? Uh, I think, I don't know if... Um, uh, if she's here right now, I forget um, her name, but maybe I should mention anyways. But somebody mentioned, and I don't think the participant is here, about um, WizIQ. WizIQ is an activity, just like mind map, quiz, and all the others that you saw in the previous page. Okay, These are all activities, and WizIQ... It goes by alphabetical order, which is why it's at the bottom. WizIQ is an activity. In other words, you can create schedule, not create, schedule classes through in the Moodle, and you'll have a chance to do this when you become a teacher with editing rights. Okay, so um, Andrea, yes, you can add these, okay, to the Moodle. Some of them uh, are free and some of them cost money, of course. Tin can, that's a good one. You know, uh, David, I didn't have a chance to do it yet, but after uh, Zaid mentioned it today, that's what I want to find out. Whenever I like something, and if you like something, just tell me and I'll get it. Okay, so if you think something's good, we'll be able to uh, get it. And then notice the other ones. What else is, uh, here's hot potato again. Um, and of course, notice... Uh, Sludle. Notice here it's called the module. So it's plug-in module 
they're still sticking to the old word. And that's it. Now, if I don't know anything, notice what happens. Remember, you go to the question mark, but in this case, you click once. If you click once on this, or twice, it'll open up a help area on the right. Okay, and here you get information. The score and package is a collection of files which are packaged according to an agreed standard. Now, can you give me an example of SCORM just from looking at the whiteboard? An example of SCORM. WizIQ is a plugin, and Quiz is a plugin. These are all plugins. Okay, Tom, they're all called plugins. Exactly. And the Sloodle is a plugin, but it's also something else. Notice where the Sloodle is. Notice where it is. Anybody? Attentional blinks? Okay, let me point it to you. Okay, this is where you need. That's right, Tom. That's right, Tom is not going to be the one with attentional blink, blinks. No, no, no. Yes, notice it's under. It's under the SCORM package. Look, it's under the SCORM package. You see that it's under? Okay, it goes in. That's right. Okay, so uh, you're not just lost. No, it's called blinking. You're not lost. It's blinking. There's lots of information and you're looking here. So you can't look here and look somewhere else at the same time. Okay, that's all. Okay, it's natural. We're human. All right, so that's it. You'll have this PowerPoint presentation. Now, what I'd like you to do before we go anywhere is I'd like you to find the link to the PowerPoint presentation for today. Okay, so look for the link to the PPT for, t Tom, you're not in this, for today's, for today's, well, for this class, for this session, okay? So remember, it's the process. So tell me what you're going to do. Okay, before you go anywhere, what are you going to do? Tom, you're not supposed to say anything, Tom. You're supposed to be the bad cop. What happened? We were, I was supposed to be good. You were, What happened? You forgot your role? Oh, Josephina, I think you got it. It looks like, is that the one? Nope. Now, how do I know it's not the one? <laughs> do I, have I memorized all the links? Josefina, that's not the one. How do I know? Because it says resources, and we're talking about activities. Okay, that's why I know. Okay, notice Josefina, and it's very important to make mistakes because you should be learning from them. Notice it says resources on Moodle and creating video tutorials. All right, so let's see what Anna got. Very good, Anna Grabowska. Very good. Look what she got us. Do you think that that's correct? What do you think? If it's correct, what makes it correct? There's no date on it. Okay, notice. You can click on it and see. It says, does it say video tutorial? No, it doesn't. It just says tutorial. That's right. It says tutorial, but it also says, what else? Josefina, what does it say? Today's session is about, starts with an A. Very good, Hassan. No, that's not the one. That's the one from yesterday. That's the one, Andrea. You got it. And Marla got it, too. And Nevis got it. And Pablo? Where is it? Pablo does. Okay. And Alexandra has it, too. Now, you can copy. <laughs> but remember, it's about the process. It's not about getting it. Okay. So where did you go to get it? And Carly also has it. 
It has the word activities at the end. And where did you get it? Nelly got it. Where? Okay, can you help someone now? This is your chance, okay, um, to help your students, okay? Everybody here is a student. We're all learning from one another. I mean, there are things that I don't know that you can teach me. There are things that I know that I can teach you, and we can teach one another, and that's what it's all about. So what was the process? Where did you go? Step by step. Now, you could describe it, okay? You can describe the process by using words, or you can, what? What would be more a uh, more effective way of describing steps to your students? What do you think would be better if you're going to talk about the process? A video tutorial, that's right. And that's how it's done. With your face, no. You could do it. Oh, here is my video. Okay, so that's how it's done. Very good. Kristen's, you got yesterday's. That's yesterday's, okay? We're talking about today's, which is the activity. Right. So the task of week two, Ricardo, what did you get? You got a collage. <laughs> That's great. Look what Ricardo brought us. Thank you. You can create a flow chart, but there's nothing like the real thing. Thing, Hassan, and that's screen sharing, showing the screens, something you cannot do face to face. You can only do it with technology that's available to you on the internet. You can put it on your PowerPoint presentation, that's true, but you want to make it dynamic and authentic. You want to make it real. Books are not as real as, as, as screens. Okay, you want to take them there, and that's how it's done, right? There's value, and we want our students to understand the value because they don't. Okay, it's up to us to really show them because they're blinking a lot. Okay, and we have to uh, show them so that they can stop blinking and start seeing what's there when they're on Facebook. They're not aware of what's happening, all right? So in week two, we're going to be focusing on activities that are available in a Moodle course. Okay. And we're going, you're going to describe in week two, that's next week, you're going to describe and suggest how they may be used. You're going to find your answer, and I've mentioned this, in the Moodle practice area. And you're all signed up. As students, you're going to get become rewarded, awarded with your teacher uh, wand so that you can turn on the editing light, turn on the switch on the 7th. Okay, that's when your life is going to change. And you're going to be teachers of a Moodle course. Do you know how wonderful that is? You'll be able to edit and do anything you want as a teacher. Okay, and then uh, you may want to share the process and practice using these tutorials. Okay, notice that you may use PowerPoint presentation. You may use Prezi if you like. As long as you use some kind of a screencast-o-matic so that you can demonstrate the process, the steps that you took. Okay, very important. And then reflect on those steps. Okay, in week three. Okay, so um, week three, you're going to go back into the practice area and you're going to be practicing some more. So week two, you're going to practice the resources and week three, you're going to practice the activities. So it's going to go very, very slowly because there are less activities uh, resources and activities. There are so many activities, okay, to practice. So that's in week three. And um, are there any questions up to this time? 
all you have to really understand is the big picture. Okay, the specific little things you'll be practicing. So you don't have to remember, okay, what you saw on the activities. You don't have to remember anything because it's all there. Okay, so if I go back to, um, to this page with the activities or to this one, okay, with the activities, you don't have to remember all this because it's there. You're going to see it. And if you don't remember what a chat is, you're going to open on the right and find out what it is. Okay, so you don't have to remember anything. You just have to get the big picture and understand that as a teacher, you have rights <laughs> on the Moodle if they give it to you, if they don't take it away from you. Okay, and you're going to, really important to document the steps that you take and reflect on your journey. Okay, so don't forget to reflect. What says Tom about being a good cop? <laughs> I think you're the good guy now. I'm the bad cop. We can change roles every once in a while. If you want. Okay. Uh, yes, Anna, you can use your own Moodle, of course. If you have uh, teacher rights, yes. And then you can use um, and teach us, and we'll be able to see another Moodle. Yes, that's fantastic. That's, of course, it's possible. Okay. Now, any questions about creating audio and video tutorials? Oh, you have an old version? So use ours. If you have an old version, I would use ours. Okay? I say ours because if we're teachers, uh, we're together. We'll have the same rights. Editing rights. Okay, Anna, so we're talking about Moodle 2.6. Uh, in October, hopefully we'll have Moodle 2.7 or maybe, I don't know, maybe it'll jump to 2.8. Okay, Rashid, so you too. So back to the question. Any questions about audio and video tutorials? Oh, that's a good one, Rosie. <laughs> Tom, you're a curate. <laughs> that's, that's, that's wonderful, Rosie. Very, very uh, creative. Give us a cure. <laughs> Love that. But I'm the doctor. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at some of the video tutorials and pay attention. Write this down. Are you writing this down? Because you're going to be tested on. This is going to be your work. Next time, you're going to have a review and warm up based on what I'm saying now. So get ready. Okay. That's, um, I believe, in a couple of days. Okay, so um, <laughs> the nurse, Tom, you're going to make me cry here from laughter. All right, and I won't be able to see anything because when I start laughing, I can't, I start getting tears in my eyes and I can't see. All right, so take this down. Move note. Okay, you're going to have to find move note. So get the link to move note. Screencast-O-Matic, and Jing. Now, somebody asked if they could use Camtasia. You can use Camtasia, but it's not free. And <laughs> it's caused me a lot of problems. Uh, I'm not sure that I like Camtasia, but yes, of course, you can use any tool. Okay, but I want you to try these that are free. Okay, so this is Move Note. I want you to get acquainted. You've got a few days until week, well, how many days do you have until uh, week two, until June 7th? You've got a few days, so get acquainted with MoveNote. Okay, there it is. Thank you, David. Okay, now, Jarek, I want you to compare, if possible, Active Presenter and MoveNote. Can you create a video tutorial to show us how Active Presenter works. Okay, and then we can decide what we want. Okay, and Screencast-O-Matic. Okay, that's next. Okay, Screencast-O-Matic. I want you to get acquainted with Screencast-O-Matic. You should be very good at this because you're going to do, your work is going to go fast 
if you start using these and getting to know them. What was that? Um, I think I, I lost you. I sent it now refers to now class. Thanks. I'm not sure what you're saying, uh, Nevis. Are you running to class? Oh, for top. Okay, sorry, I couldn't put that together. Sorry for missing some of the chat there. I should put it in the middle so I could see better. All right, so you can record right there and then, okay, on screencast matic I think you don't even need to have an account. Oh, very good, Jarek. Okay, lots of ideas. I hope it's also for Macs and not just for PCs because some of us are Mac users. And then there's Jing, and I believe somebody sent me a really good link uh, last time. Uh, it wasn't last time. It was today, actually. Uh, today, in uh, Zaid's class, somebody sent me a wonderful, but it's only for PCs. Like Jing, it serves the same purpose. You can get a screenshot, okay? It gives you a screenshot of whatever you want, but I'm a Mac user, okay? And um, I prefer Macs, even though I have a PC. So it needs to be for both. Uh, Nevis, it's not, it's for longer. Okay, it's for much longer. And you know what? I don't know if you need to have it for more than 15 minutes. Are you using a Mac? Oh, there's also very good recorder. There's also screener. Uh, the free version is only 15 minutes. So why don't you do the trial? Sometimes they have trial, and then you can do it for longer, but I'm not sure. Okay, and this is just a reminder. You've had your test today about the role of a teacher with editing rights that you'll get in the... Um, well, where is this? Anybody? Where is this? Where are these? Where is this page from? You see, this is, I used Jing to get the screenshot. Very good, David. Wow, you got to give yourself a few stars today. Here, I'll start you off. Very, very good. Excellent. That's right. Okay, so it's actually um, Moodle practice area because it's for teachers so it's it doesn't have any manager right okay and um, don't forget the support to ask questions and I believe uh, for the most of you have joined anybody here who has not joined one of the Moodle courses anybody not oh that sounds interesting pick pick Pick, pick. I like that. That's better than Jing. But is, is it also for um, Max? You know what? Why don't you provide us with screenshots and a tutorial by practicing the other things and showing us how it's done? That would be great. That would be good practice. I'd like to know more about that, Nevis. So maybe you can get a screen. David cheated. He saw this in yesterday's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so this is what you'll get in week one, week two, three, and four. And I hope what I'm aiming for is for everybody, everybody. And that means working together so that everybody can get their badges. Imagine a course where everyone gets a badge, but you have to work together and it's not cheating. <laughs> okay, pick, pick. And don't forget the question marks where you get information about your progress. Okay, and uh, those of you that are interested in WizIQ and the live presentations and a certificate, you will get a certificate for the live presentations. And that's it. I think my time was up. Questions, even though I extended. Any questions? Yes. Cheating is allowed. It's called collaboration. Thank you, Tom. Exactly. And that's why online learning is called online learning. And everything else is called education. But um, online, it is about learning. Hello, Cheryl. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. There's the um, 
the link that Tom has added. You can see where the link will take you. If you take a look at the link, all the information is there that Tom has just added. Okay, it says Wiz IQ, so you know it's not the Moodle. And then it says, uh, what else? That's it. And then it tells you what it is, Moodle for Moodle MOOC 4. All right, and go to the course feed. And we had a little quiz on that yesterday, warm up. Course feed equals, it begins with a D. There, I'm the good one. Yes. Uh, oh, yes, there is another class. <laughs> yes, with Cheryl. Yes. Thank you for reminding us. Yes, there's another class in about 50, 55 minutes. Maybe. I, Millie, the class is right now. Oh, it is? I thought we had a little more time. All right, Cheryl. So there, we've got a class. So Cheryl's waiting for us. I'm closing this one. And um, we'll see you there.